Hey, guess what I got? A little gift, a little gift in the mail. This is, I believe this could be my book. Now, I, I did order a copy from Amazon just to make sure. Quality control purposes. Let's do a quick, uh, what do they call this on, on YouTube? Unboxing. I actually don't understand the concept, but here it goes. This is, of course, this is the book that's going to teach you how to make a billion dollars. By the way, this is the first time we're actually seeing this. Let's see quality control. Oh, not bad. This is this is my uh, bestseller. Look at this. This is it. Holy shit! This is actually good quality. I'm impressed. I'm actually impressed. Uh, how did they do this? Uh, yeah, it came out good. It came out good. Let me just give you Twinberger. Uh, let's see, did they get it right? Yeah, it's actually, it's actually not bad. It's actually not bad. The, I mean, the, the design, yeah, not bad. You can actually read it. I'm going to give you a close-up here, a little close-up. Ten bagger blueprint close-up. This is, and this book is only $14.95. $14.95 uh, American dollars. Canadian, I have it $18.95. So it's like, I think, I think that's probably reasonable, right? Uh, and uh, let me see, what do I have in here? I even have, do I have my, um, do I have the charts in here? Where are the charts? Yeah, I got a chapter on charts. Did the charts come out? Yeah, I got the charts. I got the chart analysis. I teach you basically how to analyze charts. How to analyze charts. I give you everything. By the way, this is not about charts. The charts is like one, one chapter. I tell you all about, man, this is a, if this book doesn't make, I mean, literally, I, I get, I, I'm making you a guarantee. If uh, buy this book, if if this doesn't make you like, it's 15 bucks, right? If you don't make at least um, a thousand times your money, like literally 15 grand. If you don't make 15 grand, 15 thousand dollars within the first year, send it back. I, I want to give you a refund. I mean, if you can't make 15 grand with this book. You shouldn't be in the market. I mean, this is based, but again, this is penny stocks. These are higher risk. You know, this is not for everybody. I don't want some guy who's, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you know, some brokester. You know, I'm not looking to do business with, you know, brokesters, you know, retirees, you know, or on, on fixed income, students, uh, immigrants. That's that's some other guy out there who's 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 looking to do that. No. I'm looking for deal with people who are, you know, this is speculators, penny stocks. This is for speculators. It's public venture capital. That's right. And my, one of the chapters in my book is called, yeah, it's called Welcome to the Business of Public Venture Capital. This is amazing. Actually, I'm so glad I did this book. Let me just show you this. Let me just show you this here. Uh, venture capital. Where is my chapter? Let me find this chapter because I, I, I actually have it all worked out. Yeah, there we go. Chapter two, public venture capital. Now, where is my uh, uh, thing here, my spreadsheet of what kind of returns can you expect? What kind of returns can you expect? Uh, by the way, here's something. Here are six principles of your success, for success. Playing for big stakes. Asymmetric setups are essential. Time is money. What, what does that mean, time is money? Do you know what that means? I know you heard that, but do you know what it means when it comes to penny stocks? It's a big concept. you got to understand uh, be, how to be a cynical optimist. Perception becomes reality. The stock tail wags the dog. That's right. The tail wags the dog. When the stock goes up, opens up options for companies. Oh, yeah, here it is. Here is a spreadsheet of returns you can expect. Uh, basically, uh, how would, yeah, typical portfolio, VC type of portfolio, 10 stocks, returns. 84% return is basically what you would get uh, if you had uh, one ten bagger and a couple of uh, dogs, a bunch of dogs actually losing, this is actually no. It's very conservative. Uh, of course, not advice. We're not making representations. Not uh, representing what you can make. Uh, this is an incredible book. This has got to be probably the best book written in the last I don't know thousand years. It's got to be a thousand years. Look, I don't want to brag. Look, this is you know this is I'm just talent. You know, talent on loan from God, I think is how Rush Limbaugh called it. Um, and uh, yeah, look, this is 
I mean, it's divine inspiration. I mean, it, when you think about it, how does, how does uh, basically a human being, which is yeah, essentially not, not different than an animal, it's just we have a God-given brain, and you know, sometimes you know, God gives you inspiration. You know, you know, I didn't know how to do this book, I don't know, a couple months ago, whatever, six months ago. I actually been working on this book for quite a while. But you know, it's, it, it's, it's difficult. Here is my thing, exponential returns, right? What is this chapter on? Yeah, exponential growth phase, inflection point. I show you charts, I show you everything, man. I mean, this has got to be, no, 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 no doubt, this has got to be how stocks are discovered for it by institutional investors. Uh, this is a serious, serious book, theme, sector, heat. I mean, asymmetric setups, valuation sweet spot. Do you know what a valuation sweet spot is? Like, where's a sweet spot where you have the best risk, best risk reward? Well, if you read my book, you would know and what about margin of safety? Yeah, this is not just for low-life speculators. This is like for value investors. Penny stocks are for value investors. I talk about margin of safety. I'm a conservative guy. You know, I'm not, you know I want something where I have a built-in profit. I talk about margin of safety. How to be like Warren Buffett. Uh, valuation sweet spot. Yeah, you got to have between... Um, there you go. W what's the, what's, at what point does the valuation become too high for these stocks, right? You got to read the book. What about what's a cigar butt stock? That's a Warren Buffett term, also. Valuation. I, you know, this is a serious, serious academic book. Uh, what kind of CEOs? What kind of CEOs? You know, there's four types of CEOs when it comes to stock promotion. The philosophies. There's the guys who believe who don't believe in promotion. Oh, it's a lot of them. A lot of these guys are deadbeats. There's the dabbler, which is a lot of them. How about the, 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 the guy who does too much promotion? You don't want those guys out there. Those are pump and dump guys. Uh, and then there's the pro. There's the pro. That's, uh, we know who that is. Uh, that's one of our 100 bag of potential stocks. But what about this? What about the challenge of a little bit of success? You know, you know, like you have some of these guys, they make a little bit of money. They think that they're like, you know, big, 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 uh, you know, heavy hitter. You know, a guy makes a couple million bucks, you know, moves to Palm Beach, plays golf. He thinks he's a big winner. That's the problem, a little bit too much success, a little too, you know, sometimes a little a little success is not good for people. You want to be hungry. I want CEOs, where, where, when I look for these 100 bagger stocks, I want guys who are relentless, hungry animals. They don't want to make a few million dollars. They're not even in it for the few million dollars. They need to, like, go to the top to maximize their full potential. Look, I, I don't need to do this book. Well, I, you know, what am I going to make? I'm, this is not a for-profit business for me selling these books. I'm giving away my, I'm sharing my knowledge. It took me 25 years to, to get the knowledge in here. And look, I just want to, I just want to share, I just want to share with the, with the people. Um, look at this. Made it in the USA. Wow, this is amazing. This is amazing. This is American quality book, by the way. This is not some, uh, you know, made in China type stuff over here. This is, American quality. This is not made by five-year-old kids. This is made by probably a union. Probably, a, hopefully, it's not a union shop because I'm really against the communist type things. But um, yeah, yeah. This is this is really. I, guys, look. Again, I guarantee you, if you don't make at least a thousand times your money, fifteen grand, send it back. I I I don't even want your fifteen bucks. You don't you don't deserve to have this information unless you're at least playing with. I mean, you gotta. If you're getting involved with penny stocks, you know these are high risk. You need at least, I would say, look, fifty grand money that you can just you not worry about it because penny stocks are high risk. It's public venture capital. Put fifty grand out there, and you can take that fifty grand, put it into you know, 10, 15 stocks, five grand into each. Again, I'm not giving advice, but you know if you did, that's probably the way I would do it. Uh, and then you could turn that fifty grand maybe into a million bucks very quickly. I don't know. We had a kid who turned two grand to a million bucks in, in a year and a half if he parlayed it. But look, realistically, if you follow the stuff in here, you can make very high double digit returns if you do it in a very conservative way. Again, I'm not making advice. I'm not, this is not, I'm not an investment advisor. You could lose all your money. But uh, this, this is some good stuff in here. Again, go Amazon, 10 bagger blueprint. Best book ever written. Uh, I want to also, like, you know what, I want to thank all the people in the audience, in the Wall Street Reporter audience, because you guys have inspired me to write this book. Because, you know, look, so many times I get asked on live streams, well, what do you mean by this? What is this? So, you know, because I'm not really, I'm not very articulate, as you can, as you can hear. 
Uh, and, you know, when I write things down, it's a little bit more, it brings clarity. Okay, this book is like, you know, it's written to bring clarity to different concepts that I've discussed in the last couple of years. Because people are wondering, how is it that you find so many of these 10x, 50x stocks? Are you a, a genius? No, I have a very basic system. And I reveal it all in this book. I even show you how to do due diligence in 60 seconds. The path of 10x. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. Actually, if you want to rock and roll. But it's not if you want. Want, I believe. From ACDC, that's the uh, thing. Uh, but yeah, I, I do 60 second due diligence. I have a whole chapter on that, which explains, that's right, chapter five, 60 second due diligence. You don't need to spend five hours looking at a stock, 60 seconds. I can tell you right now, if a stock is, is, is it could be a potential 10 bagger. Um, yeah, guys, this is the best book ever written. I thank you to everybody in the Wall Street Reporter audience because, uh, you know, it's your question and everything else that inspired me. Look, I, I got to put it down in writing so people can see exactly where I'm coming from. I'm not just pulling things out of my ass or whatever. And uh, yeah, anyway, check it out, Amazon.com. Buy yourself a copy, buy, buy 100 copies. Look, you know, there's a lot of homeless guys out on the streets, uh, you know, we're in the holiday season. You know, if you want to, you know, give out gifts, I, I suggest you buy 100 copies, give them out to all these homeless guys that are lining the streets, like in LA, in New York, they're living in tents. You know, they're, they're making money. I mean, California Governor Newsom is giving guys like two grand a month for being homeless. That's right, it's a paid job. Imagine this, you give, you know, these guys have cash. They got, it's like stimmy checks, right? They, they're living in their tents. They got an iPhone. Uh, they got a better phone than I have. And uh, these guys are living in their tents. What are they going to do with their money? Penny stocks, penny stocks. And by the way, if you're a homeless guy and you're watching this and you got two grand, you should go into penny stocks because, uh, you know, well, what are you going to be, homeless? I mean, you know, let's say you lose two grand. <laughs> it's, it's not going to be any worse for you, right? So, yeah, I suggest, look. Do something nice for people. Um, be charitable this season. Buy yourself 100 copies. Give them out to the homeless guys so that they can learn how to get rich with penny stocks. And, you know, it'll be good for society when these guys start making money, when these homeless guys start, you know, becoming penny stock billionaires. They join the penny stock billionaire gang. They're going to, you know, that it's a multiplier effect. It's going to spread good things out. And, you know, again, these companies, look, we've, we've helped fund, uh, I think, Two billion dollars in the last two years. Yeah, that's right. Two billion dollars. My clients have raised two two B with a B. That's right. Two billion dollars. I'm not just talking about the, the little penny stock guys who've raised 20, 30, 50 million dollars. I'm not talking about like Cloud MD that raised 50 million, Trip, you know, Red Light Holland that raised 30 million, or a bunch of others, Skylight Health, that mooch bum that raised, you know, I don't know, 30 million. No, I'm talking about companies like Fubo. Yeah, you heard of Fubo, right? They raised like how much? Uh, over a billion. Yeah, a billion. Because of Wall Street Reporter. Wall Street Reporter has been around since 1843. So yeah, billion dollars was uh, two billion dollars was 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 created in shareholder wealth. And you know where that money went? It went into creating jobs for a lot of guys, a lot of you mooch bums who are watching. You could probably get jobs from companies like uh, Fubo or from uh, Skylight Health. You're working as a nurse, a doctor, you know, giving prostate exams or whatever. Uh, you know, all that good stuff, right? Uh, you know. No, old, old kidding aside, you know, when you buy these penny stocks, it's not just, you know, a pump. The reality is these companies raise money, right, as the stock goes up. They put that money into research and development. They create new innovative products that we all need. They all create good things for the world, okay? They create jobs uh, for people, right? And it become, it's a whole society. I'm just a cog in a wheel. I'm just a little, I'm just doing my part in, in the overall picture. I'm like, uh, you know... This is, you know, I'm just a, a small part of God's overall plan for the universe. I'm just doing my job, right? So, but yeah, these penny stocks are actually quite good and they've changed, uh, changed really helped uh, benefit a lot of people. So anyway, get the book, 10 Bagger Blueprint, only $14.95. Uh, and uh, here's to your 100x success, my friends. I'll see you at the top.